Chapman! Pacquiao! Hard left hand, straight on the button by Pacquiao, down goes Barrera. He does, or what his chances might be against Marco Antonio Barrera. Now they know, as Pacquiao tries to go ahead and finish Barrera, right here in the third round. And he's getting reckless, and Barrera takes advantage. Striping Barrera with left hands. Marco's hanging in now. He's tasted the power. Survived this round, and Pacquiao runs out of gas a few rounds later. Pacquiao's going to be in trouble, but if this stays right here, everything is great for Pacquiao at this stage right here. Straight left through the center. Perfect. First hard point. left to speed tonight. Because any blow that lands above the waist that causes a person to go down legally is a knockdown. Hey. Barrera gets the cut. Quite as much power in his weight class. But, but it brings a lot of speed. Hard left hand by Barrera. Backs Pacquiao up. Hard right hand by Barrera. Uppercut landed. Didn't manage to really hurt. Pacquiao giving Barrera momentary breathing space. Pacquiao lands a left hand. Barrera counters back with a left and a right. Big punches from Pacquiao, and again the power deficit. Should not time the rhythm and the movement of Pacquiao. The punches, and Pacquiao is smart. He's not really throwing hard punches in that case. I would try to go all out for a knockout. Because he can't. Right now, minus 40 wouldn't hurt him. He can't. In the past. Big left hand again by Pacquiao. Barrera having trouble seeing out of his left eye. But I agree with you. I don't know. Well, I tell you what, as big as he assaulting Marco Antonio Barrera, mugging him, and about to leave him in the gutter. Not posted. He's not lighting it up like a one of the highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. One of the most complete fighters in the world. Wouldn't send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because that guy is not backing off. If you had a guy that was he's holding hurt. The Here comes guy Barrera's guy. corner. Barrera's corner, man, is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good... But he's fighting a very intelligent fight. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao and seems intent on retaliating. This, this has a make of being a very interesting fight. Momentarily shocked. Oscar. Right here you see what surprised me and has been prevalent most effective punch. The little left hand lead of Manny's is he should right between the when he was, even though dangerous and destructive, largely a one note two. Jab, jab, straight left hand. His ability to fashion the first hand or uh, the lead left hand, starting his offense with it, as he's doing there, shows how much he's progressed as a tactician. The one thing that you mean is very obvious. Oscar De La Hoya has very little head movement. There is only almost no height yes, difference yes, between right. them. And that Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut and he can the land something. You have to believe that. He just landed a good left hook to the body, belt his back against him. There is a big swelling outside the left eye of Oscar De La Hoya. The right hand has never been a super destructive punch for De La Hoya. I asked Freddie Roach yesterday, in our meeting, I said, have you ever seen Oscar De La Hoya really hurt somebody with the right hand? And if Oscar's not going to, to you know, move his head and him so much, and, and even if he doesn't land his eyes, I keep pumping him. But good he doesn't body, jab enough. Good body shots there by Pacquiao. And if there was doubt coming in as to whether Pacquiao could be unbeaten. I personally had expected, and perhaps more so than De La Hoya expected as well. Yeah, when a lot of the experts... Good body shot by Oscar. Biggest punch of the fight for De La Hoya. Trajectory, that's why they call it a 45. Straight left hand right up the pipe. Here we go.
Obviously, once again, Manny Pacquiao shooting a straight left hand right down the pipe. Direct, and that's the kind of punch that's doing the damage to Oscar. But still, you would think against the so-called smaller man, we'd see something more. This fight's going to probably end up being stopped. Manny Pacquiao is annihilating Oscar De La Hoya. Who's looking Hard entirely shots. at Oscar. De La Hoya hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping it. Pacquiao landing punch after punch, and it's not so much just the way he's landing him. The body language and position of De La Hoya's body is that of a man that's defeated. It's, it's passive. All right, Larry, you envisioned this one. Could you see Pacquiao against Margarito? No, and he himself says he's going back to 140. Tony Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money in Oscar De La is past, but he's getting beaten up here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's, let's finish it. That's it. Let's go. Right it's over. Matty Pacquiao Oscar has beaten Oscar De La Hoya. To the audience was for him to create anxiety and pressure on Ma Manny. So Hatton wants to apply pressure. And I think he's doing just that. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Allow Hatton to come forward, catch him on the way in. A key element of the game plan for Hatton, get Pacquiao against the ropes, just like that. With the right and the left. That, that, that punch missed. There's the right again landing. End up being a very wrestling type match also. Great right hand for Hatton glazed across the face and of Hatton, Pacquiao. No, Hatton's face is already red. I thought Pacquiao landed the right hook. Work out, work out, work out. Punch, puncher. Nope, follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. Pacquiao is coming out of the neutral corner in a hurry. Lands another right hook. Pacquiao's hands, are so Pacquiao's hands are blindingly fast. No opponent sees the punches coming. A very Another perfect up. right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at Will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. Here's the first knockdown, Emmanuel. Right, right hook as he was coming, he never saw it. And what's amazing, to see him land a punch and then slip a punch all at the same time shows unbelievable coordination. And then Marquez, a counterpuncher, began to solve him. Hatton is not a counterpuncher. Hard left hand by Hatton. Ricky has decided to fight fire with fire. Just to try to smother this guy and get close. But the, the, the punch is still packed out. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. And then he closed down Pacquiao's left side. Hard right hand again by Pacquiao. Over Costa Zoo. Pacquiao's, Pacquiao's blinding speed that sets him apart. Ability to punch, maintain balance, which he used to couldn't do. And his head, head movement. Is and allowed himself to get a little wild. Now he goes back to more precision. Oh, oh my gosh, what a straight left hand. And will Hatton make it up from this? Can he beat the count? Oh, is that it? And Kenny Bella says, no way. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one-punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. Any fighter. And Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That and was this, super slow yeah, motion. Yeah, and he never saw it. He was unconscious from the moment he caught that shot. Goes to the canvas in the proverbial heap. And there's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. Cotto will keep going there anyway. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Cotto just physically a bigger guy. Now Pacquiao starting to... He's going to punch so far. And he's going to see if Pacquiao can take his stuff. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. But Cotto can take the punch. He's not being knocked back. Good body shot by Cotto. Slugging with him. Plus the footwork gets him into position oh, yeah. to he, land. He bounces off his top. Very good. He's rushing in. Man, he landed a little right hook in there. Okay. And follows up by knocking. 
Pacquiao beating Cotto to the punch now. No blood. Three hard body shots for stop throwing. Cotto lands his jab. Now, when Pacquiao throws, Cotto goes into a little shell because of all the speed he's seen. That's Manish rhythm to go in and out and punch on his Left toes. hook counter by Cotto landed. We've seen Cotto in these situations before, and he comes back. Pacquiao getting hit in recent fights. Uppercut yeah. snaps Pacquiao's head back. Remember. Great reflexes and time and wait and see little openings that very few fighters can see. That's why he lands a lot. But he, even he landed it a few times. Because he can hurt you with punches and not even stand up punches. And, and when put on tactical retreat. Absolutely. Just as he was in the late rounds against Margarito. Decision to just box is yielding better results than, than the earlier firefight. But now Pacquiao's backing him off again. Got him against the ropes. Tries to end it with one big left. But Cotto backs into the corner. He's in big trouble now. The fight could end in a matter of seconds. Holding on. He can't, he can't, he can't hold this round. He can't see the punches coming. Trying to counter. Reddy's been pretty good at this. Huh? Fight me. He said Pacquiao would still win. For the kill now. Pacquiao is looking for KO 11 right here. Cotto still fighting. We're at the end of this fight. Sure. You have to doubt he'll ever be great again. And Miguel Cotto's father, Miguel Cotto Sr., wanted to stop the fight and was talked out of it by the others in the corner, including head trainer Joe Santiago. Now Kenny Bayless does his duty. Now flirts with the corner there, then moves away. Now his back is against the ropes. Margarito tries to press the action. Pacquiao hits him flush with a big left hand. And then flurries. Marks begin to show on Margarito's face as he has a big red welt under his right eye. So Pacquiao can do that. Yeah, Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him, but his face is telling a different story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every punch. Pacquiao was a terrific, world-class, one-handed fighter. Margarito banging him against the ropes here, trying to get to Pacquiao's body. He can change the fight. Pacquiao fighting back with his back on the ropes. And here comes And he Manny. turns it around and bangs. Margarito viciously on the bad eye. And another one. Hits him again with the left. Margarito nods at him. Pacquiao hits him at will. Bang! Because that's his biggest factor, is fighting while he's tired. And he's blocking some of the punches, taking some. He took a big left hook to draw your own conclusions. I talked to Miguel earlier today. Miguel said this is going to be a very tough fight. Because I was telling him, I thought that Pacquiao I had to edge. He said, man, he may have edge, but it's going to be a hard fight. Punch is a little better than a smaller guy. But a regular 140 pounder, I think Manny would have knocked out at this point. Unless somebody wants to stop the fight because of that right eye, which is grotesque. You got to do what he does better than any boxer in the game. Let a guy miss, catch him with a punch, let him miss, hit him with a punch again. A lot of guys have let guys miss punches, but they don't take advantage of it the way that he does. Freddie Roach wanted to get the Texas State Athletic Commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. Greatest offensive fighter of the era. Physically fatigued both. And this uh, right now. That's, he 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 he's ready to right. go. That's one of the biggest jabs. I didn't see yeah. it coming. That was a right hook from Pacquiao. Yeah. Another measure of redemption for Margarito. Even though he's the villain with the hand wraps, hopelessly behind and no, getting no hand movement at all. Pacquiao oh, looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. Landed a shot, looked towards. He's out being out punched, but the referee has to wait a few more seconds before the Emmanuel, he's rearranging Margarito's face. 
If the referee stopped, there wouldn't be any complaint, but I just don't think he's going to stop it as Tate goes. I tell really like it's, it's, a it's, goal. It, it's a, a solid target. He's not moving his head. I honestly wonder whether Pacquiao has no more stomach for the punishment. Then he took the fight. You, Hard to say because yeah. he's fighting such different guys a bigger every guy. time out, and they're all so big. Of uh, Victor Chenia. Oh, oh it is a Donaire, sensing the moment. Oh, and working well. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Look out, Darchenia down for the first time. Yeah. Struggling yeah. to get to his feet. Yeah. In terrible shape. It's all over. That's it. That's it. It's all over. Nonito Donaire has pulled the left. The monstrous upset. Factors against Darchenia. Because of his uh, size and punching accuracy. He's here for Donaire. Good right hand by Donaire. Oh, that one really caught him. And Maldonado disoriented. He's in. Donaire said to us. Oh, Great left that scored by Maldonado. Maldonado's having a really good. Yeah, Donaire is, is just surgically picking. There to do. Oh, straight right hand. Now he's won just about every round, and he has rocked Maldonado. There's another big shot by. Donaire and the sweeping left Ooh. puts Maldonado Ooh. down. One of the things that might give him a little. Oh, nice right by Donaire. A little of Donaire's landed. He wants There's to end it. Here's a barrage by Donaire. The referee oh, ended in dramatic fashion. Keep up, keep up. Oh, belting him to the body with the left, and that is it. Right hand stings Vargas in the arsenal. Jab. He, he went down to 105 for a uh, That's a bad move according to CompuBox. <laughs> Look at that. And I gave Vargas that round. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. No getting up. And Lefty Richie McFred. Oh, a beautiful right hand by Donaire. Followed by a nice dip right jab. Well, he's Ooh, a beautiful uppercut with the, from the International News Agency. Two of the judges actually had... Ooh, nice that. left hook by Donaire. Marquez in trouble trying to hold on. And Donaire. <laughs> left hook, right hand. Oh, a beautiful left uppercut. And it sends Marquez down. Cuatro. Cinco. Quiere que te vin? No. Se acabó. Se acabó. And it's over. That's it. Good point about moving up and playing. Good lift. Oh, he's in. Wobbles the record already. But it's to oh. the tempo. It's to the top of the head. Well, let's see now. This is a round judges should score 10-8. But it may be a move. And he's hurt again. He got hurt again. Big right hand. Right hand. Oh, that's good. good. Oh, okay. now he is. Oh. A right followed by a left. And some of Moreno. Those oh, are oh, good. Man. Oh, man. Oh, That is enough. That is enough. What's doing from his mouth? You know. Good luck, Kevin. See for years. Has developed a team. Left, right combination. Good luck. Oh, there you go. Out of there. It's over with. It's over with. That is done. And Russell Moore is going to let it continue. Now he stops it. You have company. Jumped in with a left hand too. Donaire comes right back. Doubles up the two. Really good tactics. Right in front of him. Age of multiple titles. Look at that. Look at that. But after all this, if Narvaez lands one or two clean shots, I'd rather be him. Yeah, but good right hand to the body. Narvaez is not throwing back. Right hand. Perfect power. That's exactly right. Of course, the crowd wants to see more because they came out to see the athletic level of you or Donaire. Oh, there Donaire. Well, and he should stay in his weight class and not take the money. Oh, Donaire fired a punch in on him with the face. It's kind of punches particular of Donaire whenever he does. Popping his hands. And left. he rips Vasquez with a left hook lead. And there was a perfect example. Comes up over the very... Well, Larry... Yeah, he's found a left Good shot. Uh, what a couple of punches. Tremendous uppercut. And the left hook to put him. This is a tough fight for Donaire uh, Seals. The opponent, and to a certain degree, found one tonight. He's been hit for a professional career. And nine years old. And for everyone who's been 
so excited about the prospects of what Domir can do in his inability to knock out Mask has raised questions. Marapula is now back and straight up, which is not good. Oh, he's, he's doing Vada. Vada is just... Marapula's throwing a pretty good punch himself, though. Trade inside. He's not afraid to trade with uh, Melito. And who did more damage? Around two and he threw over 100 punches. You know, he did that round. Yeah. Al gave that round to Garnier, but I'm making commentary. I'll take yourself an unnecessary risk. Go, left hand drops by the Bula. Great uppercut from Garnier. Fires off a right and a left. Which means he's willing to sacrifice your fighter as a pressure. Oh, good left hand by Garnier. Yeah. Left hand by Matabula cuts the face. Yeah, he doesn't want it. This is what he asked for. So, when Air says, bring it on, fires a couple power shots, that's how it ends. Nishioka's used to winning. Yeah, but he's waiting to get a good shot in. Make him make a mistake where I can counter it. There's a hand speed up. It's cold outside. Oh, oh Nishioka down. Short hey. shot inside. Down there. The that right hand over the top, straight right hand. Nishioka says, bring it on. Left hand from Donair. And this is what Nishioka starts to do around. Oh, oh down goes Nishioka for a counter shot. Four, five, six. Into this body, he's been down three times in his career, down twice, and now the referee steps in and stops it. 30 years old, so he's landing on Donair's gloves. There's an uppercut for Donair. Good left hook with which most people credit Donair is counterpunching skill. And there you saw the left hook upstairs, and there goes Arce to the canvas on a quick, short, straight right hand. Four, five, yeah. six. Come back, Pax. Come on. Well, our fans seem to want a fifth fight, and here's Donair looking for the knockout, and Arce's down again. Second knockdown of the fight for Nomito Donair, and Jorge Arce is rubbing a glove against his left eye. Good right hand by Nonair. And another left uppercut. Oh. And down goes Arce on a brilliant left hook. And that just might be that. And it is. Referee Lawrence Cole waves his arm. Nonito Donair has a third round KO. He has good extension on all of his parts. Oh, there it is. That hook that hurt him right there. There it is. There it is. Right there. Right trying to fight right there. Where he's been undressed. Oh, this shot holder is the hardest dude to fight because of the style. Yes. Straight right hand. Followed by the left hook again. Oh, good uppercut by the old lady. Right hand again. Here comes the left hook. Straight right hand, left hook. Oh, oh there's gonna set up another left hook. Oh, oh it's stop. a thunderous right hook. And the left hook. And an uppercut. Doesn't know if it's going to be a jab or if it's going difficulty to be a difficulty that could come from an accident. You can see that Yaka sees he can punch. Right there, Max. You see yeah. him set the move back. Yeah. You go to the judges' scorecards. And there's a good left hook for Donaire. Donaire has suddenly seized the initiative in the fight. Last Here. time, and maybe he wasn't ready for Rigando, but speed and power, but also Landing a guy. Solid stuff. And down goes Vitjeka on a Donaire left hook. The money punch. But now, Donaire has set himself up for a two-point round in the fourth. And now the new WBA undisputed featherweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, No.